Hello everyone on this sunny day here in Southern Illinois, the 2nd of August, 2021. I just finished installing my uh, DXE RF Pro 1B magnetic loop antenna outside. And we're going to go outside and check it out, plus my Alpha Delta dipole antenna. And then uh, I'll show you how I put those in and... And then later on, we'll, we'll do a test and see how good they work. Okay, here we are outside uh, at the antenna, my little loop. You can see I've landscaped it there. And it's the, you can see it's the, And it's got the rotor, the RCA rotor there. It's about maybe the middle of the loop is about six feet. The very top's probably seven and a half. The whole loop itself is 38 or 39 inch diameter, three quarter inch aluminum tubing. The tripod right there I made myself out of some uh, steel I had in the garage. I've got the coax coming from the loop and the rotor. It's going into the PVC and it's going down underground to right up here against the house. And it's buried about six inches deep, comes out right here, goes into this surge suppressor, which goes down to the ground, and it comes around, and it goes into the side of the house right here. And my dipole is grounded right here for the first ground. It's on DXE 400 max coax. And you can see it's out there in the field, so let's go take a look at that. Okay, here's my dipole. It's the Alpha Delta DX Ultra. And you can see it goes up to the top. The top there is about 32 feet from the center. Uh, the wings going out. There's a support pole right there, and then there's another one right here. You can see, this is a fi telescoping fiberglass mast. As I said, it's about 32 feet. The whole antenna is 80 feet wide. It has these uh, resin, or not resin, but these little. These are for medium wave. It makes the antenna resonant on medium wave. ISO-res connectors. That there was for something else and I decided against that. But at the base of it here, coax comes down. It's DXE 400 max. Comes down, goes into here. There's a surge protector in here, which is grounded. You can see it again. And it's grounded by the house. The, ma yeah, the mask goes up. And as I said, the whole thing is 80 feet wide. And it's been up since uh, about the mid 90s. I've changed the coax on it two or three times. I put this telescoping mast on there last year because I'm getting, getting to where I couldn't climb a tower anymore. And this just makes it easier for maintenance. But you can see it right there is the whole thing. Like I said, there's one support pole. They're about 12 feet tall. There's the other one over there. And there we are looking at the loop from this side. Got it all landscaped. I just have to waterproof the connector. Put some tape around it. But yeah, it goes up there. The whole length of the coax run is probably 60 feet. 
at the most. And it goes, yeah, right there in the corner that I showed you. Works really good though, but I, we'll do a video and I'll show you how it works against some uh, local interference from that I get from the farmers. It's working the field. I got, I'm surrounded by a thousand acres of farmland and they got big green bins over there and I get interference at times from that when they're running the dryers and all this kind of stuff. It's a raspy, plus there's a farmer lives down the road from me. He has some solar panels and I think he has an electric fence and it makes a raspy sound. My big antenna picks it up. This big antenna, that Alpha Delta will pick something up. Noise like that from a mile away, easy. This loop cuts it completely out and without much signal loss and I'll show you that later on tonight when I get home or in the next video but yeah that's the uh, DXER Pro 1B magnetic loop yeah it costs a lot and I know people give me a lot of shit for it but you know that's okay you get what you get if, if you don't you don't want that antenna or don't like that antenna then don't buy it you know buy whichever one you want buy an MLA 30 or whatever Whatever works for you is what you buy, but don't get down on somebody for buying a damn antenna. So. But it works really good. And then, like I said, the next video, uh, we'll give it a demonstration this is, and show you how it works against the, the local noise from the farmers and stuff. So until the next video, uh, have a good one and we'll see you later.